approximately 4.5 billion years ago due to the consolidation of the leftover materials from the sun led to the formation of the planet earth as we know that various things which are present on the earth's surface ocean the climatic condition different types of landforms have we ever wonder what's present inside the earth's surface we hardly get time for that but the natural calamities like volcanic eruption earthquake tsunamis makes us wonder or think what's present inside the earth the widespread damage caused by them loss of life loss of property makes us think what's present inside the earth's surface so students today's topic is earth's interior the earth's interior is divided in three different layers crust mantle and the core the radius of the earth in an average is 6371 km no one has ever reached the center of the earth the deepest boring ever done by the mankind is 13 km which is kola super deep bore hole and it's still the deepest artificial point on the earth how come we know that there are the different layers inside the earth's surface now for that there are different sources of information direct and indirect sources direct sources like rocks studying the rocks from mining the studying the volcanic materials and the deep ocean drilling gives up some information now indirect sources like the gravitational force magnetic field and the seismic waves most of the information with regard to the interior of the earth we get it from the study of the seismic waves now students let us study the different layers in brief the first will start with the crust is also considered to be the thinnest and the outermost layer of the earth it's also divided in two parts sile and sima sile is silica and aluminium sima is silica and magnesium the thickness of the sile also varies from place to place under the continent is 35 to 50 km under the ocean is 5, 5 to 7 km now sile is mainly consists of continental landmass sima is mainly consists of the oceanic beneath the oceanic landmass now sile is made up of granite with an average density 2.7 g per cm3 sima is mainly made up of basalt with an average density of 3 g per cm3 together sile sima and upper mantle makes the zone lithosphere which is 1000 100 km deeper now there is a very thin layer which divides the crust and the mantle which is known as moho discontinuity now students let us move on to the second zone is mantle mantle is also divided into two parts upper mantle and lower mantle upper mantle is asthenosphere lower mantle is mesosphere now the thickness is 2900 km below the crust the temperature and the density also increases as we move to the interior of the earth's surface asthenosphere is mainly made up of plastic or the semi solid material the movements like earthquake isostasis is all related with asthenosphere whereas the mesosphere is mainly made up of solid rocks it is very rigid and again uh, the core and the mantle is also divided by a th very thin layer which is known as gutenberg discontinuity now let us move on to the most uh, inaccessible and the deepest zone of the earth core core is also divided in two parts outer core and inner core the thickness of the outer core from the mantle is 2900 km to 5100 km deep inner core uh, 5100 km to 6378 km deep that is the center of the earth temperature is 6000 degrees celsius density is 11 g cm3 due to the high temperature the outer core is present in the liquid form in spite of high temperature inner core is in solid form due to extreme pressure from the overlying layers inner core is also known as knife made up of nickel and iron which is the densest metal found on the earth's surface 
but still the question is unanswered. How come we classified the different layers beneath the Earth's interior? The answer is very simple. By studying the seismic waves. Now this is the topic for our next video. So students, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel.